Doge sign. Is it a scam or does it have any utility? I'll be taking a look through the project and I'll be giving you my thoughts at the end of this video. First, let's take a look through their website. So the, the first thing it's saying is decentralized finance. So it seems to be something about, I mean, it looks like a deck, basically. A DEX with NFT. I, I, I really don't like the branding. And I, I don't like the name. Like, nobody wants to see another Doge project. But this branding, this dog on a UFO alien ship, like, it's so weird. I mean, NFTs, nobody want, nobody cares about NFTs anymore. Like, NFTs are down, like, trading volume is down 99%. Okay, so there's this game and then it's like, everything's finished already take a look through the website so here's marketplace the marketplace is coming soon launch pads is coming soon and the staking work okay so staking work and and there's somewhat of a realistic apr at for 14 percent and 26 percent apr by interest take a look at the nft and, and nobody cares about nft farming is coming soon and the game is coming soon okay and that's it. In that, their team profile seems kind of sus as well. Like, they have a doc's names, but no pictures, no LinkedIn profiles, Facebook, Twitter accounts, nothing. <laughs> Not even Telegram accounts. Like, and when you read through their profile descriptions or the uh, profiles of these people, I mean, you, you think that their background is like, they really have amazing background. I mean, this guy CEO, I don't know how to pronounce that name. I'm not, I'm not even going to try. Educational background in business management and business development with expertise in marketing and strategic analysis for big companies in the FNB sector in Boston, US. Wow. The experience in the startup ecosystem is 2015. It was very impressive. And the CTO, PhD in computer science, AI researcher at University of California Institute of Technology in that's a major university for 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 tech you know, on a global level. I mean, I'm not sure how BLE beacons can contribute to this project, but or blockchain, I don't know. I mean, I mean, but again, he seems to be this amazing expert in all these advanced tech tech fields. And we don't see his full profile, you know, like in LinkedIn, you know, people, I mean, you even, if you dox yourself, then you have nothing to hide. And suddenly if your background is really amazing, well, you really have nothing to hide, no? Like, I don't get it. And there's CMO, master in marketing and brand management with working experience on creative and art, directing, advertising, and communication design. I mean, and they even have a creative directing like eight years of experience at sony picture i don't believe that like if you work for sony picture for eight years you're gonna be very comfortable with showing like who you are like linking to your twitter facebook profile or or linkedin i don't believe this profile marcus home but i mean claims to be a creative director and this website is not nice yeah, there's some design into the Doge, but it's not a lot. There's really not much going on here, and this UFO and the dog, you just don't get it. When we look at their blue coin and we look on the 5 way chart, if we go back all the way to August, I mean, we can see it basically pumped, and then there was this massive dump here. Like, that, that I mean, this is, it looks like a rug. I don't have any evidence of it rugging, but this kind of price movement is a rug, no? This is a rug movement. This is not a good price action at all. This shit, like, rugging price action. And we also see that 33% of the LP is unlocked. So when you have that into account, there's something very strange going on. I also looked on uh, BNB Chain's uh, risk scanner tool. And they flagged this contract as having a medium risk. So they describe a medium risk as uh, the contract in this project 
are not properly configured or contain unsevere or unlikely bugs. Hence, it has some potential risks and it can enable hacks to be conducted on the contract. So they're not saying like, hey, this is a scam, but they're saying that this is not a properly configured or developed contract. And if we look go on BSJIC, we see something quite similar. Like we don't have any information about who the contract owner is. They've deployed the contract without the normal contract owner uh, functions. We see like the dev supposedly has 40% of the token supply. I, I don't know what to, to think here. Like 0% is wrong. It's not looking good. <laughs> Yeah, let's go to token sniffer, like what's token sniffer saying? So here you see. So they're saying something similar as well, holder analysis. So the creator wallet has access to 40% of the tokens and all the other holders possess less than 5% of total uh, circulating supply. So other wallets own more than 5%. And this has been work, no? I have to conclude this is a scam project. There's, there's so many red flags. There's no reason to trust this project. 